Am I the asshole for not wanting my 29F husband, 31M, to teach our future baby Spanish? Okay, so I'm in a bit of a dilemma here. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant, so we are getting ready to receive our girl. The problem is my husband has recently told me he wants to teach her Spanish too. The thing is, he isn't even Spanish. He was born here but lived on Spain since he was 4 until he was 19. Now, if he had some sort of cultural or family connection to Spain then I might consider it. But he is American. When he initially told me at around 21 weeks I thought he was joking so I let it go. But now that he brought it up again I told him how I felt about it. I told him what I told you guys above and that it would be hard for her because they are very different languages. He started arguing that there are many kids that are raised bilingual and are very smart but I also feel like it might cut me from my child. He is mad at me for not accepting and I can't help but wonder if I was an asshole here. If he had some cultural connection, um. He has lived there for 15 years what the fuck are you on about? You are the asshole. You are the asshole babies have an amazing capacity to learn things including multiple languages and stop gatekeeping Spanish. You are the asshole. Living in a country for 15 formative years is a cultural connection. You don't have to be born there. Your kid will hate you forever for not teaching them Spanish when you could and they have to start from scratch at school. Kids pick up languages so easily. Heck if you don't want to be excluded maybe you should learn it too. That'd be a great whole family bonding experience. You are the asshole. If he lived there for 15 years especially his formative years he does have cultural ties to Spain. Why would you not want a bilingual child? Americans are so dense they can't see the benefit of knowing more than one language. And yes I am American. Face with rolling eyes. You are the asshole. Being bilingual is such a gift. Your child would have such a head start. It's a huge bonus on any resume or future career. Also you say he has no connection to Spain yet he lived there for almost all of his childhood? That is a huge connection. He spent his most formative years there. He does have a huge cultural connection to that country. Honestly you sound jealous or even a bit racist. You are the asshole. He doesn't have a cultural connection to the country he was raised in? Yes, he definitely does if he was there from the ages of 4 to 19. I told him what I told you guys above and that it would be hard for her because they are very different languages. Being bilingual enhances understanding of both languages. And this will make your future child more well-rounded and more employable. He started arguing that there are many kids that are raised bilingual and are very smart but I also feel like it might cut me from my child. Then find your own way to bond with the kid. It is okay for parents to bond with their children over different things. It doesn't have to take away from your relationship. You are the asshole being bilingual is an acid and completely normal for kids. YTA. Why are you so against this? Spanish is an extremely common language and would be a benefit. The high school my children went to required a second language to graduate and it's far easier to teach them young verses as they get older. Take advantage of the fact your husband speaks another language and is willing to teach your child. You could ask him to teach you as well. Am I the asshole for revealing to my dad's wife the real reason why me and him were never close? My dad practically gave me up to his sister from the moment I, 27M, was born. My mom died when she was giving birth to me. And my aunt told me he never recovered from that because he blamed me for her dying. It hurt a lot as a kid that at family events he would ignore my existence. When I was a little older he got more vocal about me, killing her and he can't stand to look at my face. You can imagine the amount of therapy that put me in. I used to go to church crying because I was scared about going to hell for doing that to my mom. That's how much his words fucked me up. But the shitty part was that I never stopped trying to be accepted by him. After my high school graduation he told me to never bother him again since he legally has no obligation to me anymore, since he was sending my aunt money to take care of me. Around that time is when I finally started accepting that reality so from there we moved on with our lives. My aunt doesn't talk to me about him. Sometimes my grandparents do and that's how I found out he got married. They were mad he didn't invite me to their wedding but to me it didn't matter because we're not close. But it was his wife who wanted to meet me. It's the first time ever that he wants to make contact and it was to pretty much say she wants me on their life. She doesn't know the real reason about why we're estranged. He asked me to please not say anything and maybe this could be a way to reconcile after all. But he was only doing it for her. That much was clear when we talked. I never said I would be he still insisted on us meeting at their place because she really wanted to meet me. 
All she thinks is we were estranged for not getting along in my teenager years, going to college and losing touch because of life stuff. It pissed me off that he played it off as us just not talking for petty reasons meanwhile the actually reason damaged me for years. I told her the truth. Everything he said to me. That he was never a parent to me, that was all my aunt. It was definitely a shock for her. The outcome was a disaster. Everyone has heard about this now. My grandmas in particular told me she understands my anger. But this was his chance finding someone since losing my mom and now it's been put in jeopardy. My dad is devastated. They think it was going too far to ruin his marriage that way when he was willing to include me in their lives which could have been the start of our relationship. And they say not only did I ruin that but also possibly wrecked his marriage. She just doesn't agree at all with what he did and it could have been avoided if I didn't say anything. For me it was hard not to tell the truth after the lies made it seem like it was nothing serious. I couldn't ignore what happened after what it did. IDK if it was the right call since it put their whole marriage at risk after all. Dude, not the asshole. Your dad is a great a double cheese asshole from hell with a special topping of asshole served with asshole sauce. He deserves every bit of what happened to his second marriage because he presented himself as a different person than he is. I am sorry you had to go through this. I wish you strength and may you find more people who love you unconditionally. Not the asshole. She has the right to know the true man she married. Also, I am so sorry you had to endure all that. Your aunt sounds like an incredible person, and despite everything, I hope you are doing as well as you can be under the circumstances. They think it was going too far to ruin his marriage that way when he was willing to include me in their lives. He was only willing to include you in their lives on his terms and without acknowledging the trauma he caused or apologizing for being cruel to you by blaming you for your mother's death. If he truly wanted to have a closer relationship rather than just giving in to what his wife wanted, he needed to apologize and make amends. You were not responsible for your mother's death and you are not responsible for your father's behavior. The fact that she married a man who treated his own son so cruelly is upsetting to her and it should be. He made his bed. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your dad ruined his own life. Not the asshole did you dad not consider the fact that you might rain on his little party? The new wife, location flag location flag she never met you before they got married location flag location flag she kept insisting to meet you hope she dumps him. Hey you are not the asshole. He does not get to pick you up and parade you for the sake of his new wife like a toy. Absolutely not the asshole here. You did the right thing telling her the truth. Your dad was expecting you to lie about your life because he had lied about his his wife deserves to know who she is married to. I'm so sorry you have had this start in life. Not the asshole. Saying you lost touch due to tumultuous times as a teenager and distance in college is making the fault of your estrangement mutual. It was not mutual. He lashed out with horrifying, inaccurate and traumatizing language throughout your childhood and abandoned you immediately after birth. He is absolutely deserving of every complication his torment of you brings him. If he could not raise you or treat you with respect, he should have never associated with you. His wife was owed the truth because your trauma and abandonment were perpetuated up to and through their wedding. He was not just someone who couldn't raise their child due to his own trauma, he created trauma. He could have found love long ago if he wasn't so hard-hearted. Not the asshole. He should have been honest with his new love about his abandonment. That's a serious honesty fail. And hash x200b. And how did he think you two were going to reconcile without her finding out? When he can't fill in the blanks in any stories from your childhood, when there are no shared memories, no common experiences. Question mark. She'd have to be dumber than a bag of hammers to not figure out that this was not lining up with what she'd been led to believe. Am I the asshole for launching a complaint on my boss over a fidget toy? WFH ended and I have autism and ADHD. I found having those squishy fidget toys at a desk really helps me concentrate and problem solve. After two weeks back in the office my manager Kyle said no toys at our desk it's not preschool. I asked HR and told them it helps with my disability and wasn't hurting anyone. They said it's not even their policy so management really can't ban these items in the office. I have the pup in a cup out one day and Kyle rips it out of my hand puts it in his Starbucks coffee cup and throw it away. I now go to his manager and back to HR and I get to WFH again to meet my needs and Kyle is suspended pending investigation into hostile work environment. 
Kyle is about three years away from retirement and may have to retire early now because he's crying to anyone that him finding another job after being fired for hostile work environment is going to be impossible. He's blaming me saying I was out of line for having the squishy pup in a cup bothering him at work but the pup makes no noise and Kyle has a private office. So there was not need for him to rip it out of my hand and throw it away after HR said they were already cool with it. Not the asshole he chose the hill he wanted to die on and die he shall. Not the asshole. Kyle massively overplayed his hand and is facing the consequences of his actions. It's not your job to protect Kyle from himself. Let me fix Kyle's excuse for you. I'm blaming you because I tried to assert power I don't have and it failed. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He's facing the consequences of his actions. Carry on as you are and let HR handle the immature asshole. You did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. First off if there's no policy against them he can't tell you off for having it. Second if it helps with your productivity or focus he should encourage it. And finally, what the fuck is going through a manager's mind to grab it out of your hand and throw it in the bin? If he thinks he's in the right about you not being allowed it he should have gone down discipline process, wrote you up for not complying, told you to put it away, etc. You can't throw away someone else's property just because you're their manager. I hope he gets sacked for it because I can't imagine that mindset makes him a good manager to any other staff. You should ask that part of his punishment is replacing it, just for the look on his face when he has to give it to you. Not the asshole. Kyle probably thought he was untouchable when pulling this little power play, because he's most likely gotten away with, less extreme, versions before, and he was so close to retirement. Well, silver lining for you, it apparently did not occur to him that this instance of poor behavior is nuclear lawsuit territory. I am disabled, have been given accommodations, and then my superior confiscated and destroyed, discarded said accommodations while verbally demeaning me and treating me like a child, is a fantastic basis for a discrimination suit. It's also an excellent fire under HR's ass when it comes to solving the situation. Also, what is this pup in a cup thing? It sounds adorable. Not the asshole boomers need to adapt to the modern work culture or get fired. That's on them. Not the asshole. Even if the company did prohibit the use and display of personal items at your desk the way he went about this would have gotten him fired anyway. Ripping that out of your hands it often considered assault in many states. Throwing it away was willful destruction of property. The man committed crimes on the company dime. He did this to himself. Am I the asshole for making my son change schools? The principal called me last year because my son, 13M, was caught bullying another boy. I was devastated being the victim of bullying before and made it clear to my son it wasn't tolerated and he was grounded for the reminder of the school year. Then he was reported again for being physical with the same boy along with two others of his friends. Those friends are known for being bullies and I think they are a bad influence so I talked to the teachers about getting him to change classes but that doesn't prevent him from seeing them at lunch or before school. My son just says he won't do it again when I confront him and shrugs off anything I say to him. Grounding him doesn't seem enough and he doesn't seem to care he is grounded and I get more and more incidents of him bullying both the same boy but now also a girl from his class. I was in an anti-bullying session with the girl's mom who said she was probably going to take her daughter to another school because her daughter has been depressed due to the bullying. I hate that my child is the cause of this and I don't want him to think this is tolerated. I also switched schools due to bullying and then years later found out a student who didn't pass away due to the bullying. I remember thinking how insanely unfair it was the bullied students have to leave and the bullies get off scot-free. I told my son he is moving to a neighboring middle school 15 minutes away. He is pissed because now he will have to walk 10 minutes and take a 20 minutes bus to get to school and he won't be able to hang out with his friends at school. I told him this is the punishment for bullying and he argued the principal hasn't kicked him out yet. I told him the school has let him get away with it but I wouldn't be a good parent if I didn't make it clear bullying isn't tolerated. He argued that he's my son so I should put him before anyone else. My husband is also on his side saying a 30 minutes commute instead of 15 minutes is not fair for him and boys his age will just be assholes but they will get better eventually. I still moved him so he's attending the new school now and no reports of bullying yet but he's pissed at me for forcing him to move schools. He argued that he's my son so I should put him before anyone else. You are putting him first. You are making sure he doesn't grow up to be a little asshole. You do have your work cut out for you with your husband's attitude. Maybe ask him what magically happens to turn boys that age from assholes into better people.
Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your son is a bully and your husband is flat out wrong in his, boys will be boys, bullshit thinking. Not the asshole but have you considered taking him to therapy? These actions don't come out of nowhere and there's a chance it isn't just two kids being a bad influence on him. That kid needs therapy ASAP. He clearly a, does not care what you say and b, is not in control of his aggressive behavior. And your husband is more concerned with the commute than his son's behavior. Is your husband overly aggressive in any way? Not the asshole, but please get him the help he needs. Not the asshole. You're doing the right thing. I would also put him in therapy to get to the bottom of why he thinks it's okay to bully. Your husband is enabling the bullying. At least he has one parent doing the right thing. Good job mama. Not the asshole, but your husband is a ta. Until your husband changes his tunes and supports you, I doubt anything will change with your son's attitude, behavior. Your son think he is not doing anything wrong, since he has the support of his dad. Stand your ground and have a serious talk with your husband. Sadly your husband is not setting a very good example of a good role model for your son. As the mother of a 13-year-old son who is a bit on the innocent side and sees the good in everyone, I thank you for your actions and zero tolerance on bullying. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I am impressed with your empathy for his victims and your desire to make it right and guide your son. Might I gently recommend getting your son counseling as opposed to simply presenting this as a consequence, punishment. His continued lack of empathy, escalating violence, and imperviousness to discipline make me concerned there is something else going on other than simply, having two friends who are a bad influence. Please see a psychiatrist for an evaluation.